we finished the module number two for the ISMS. The systematic approach for managing and protecting your data. Okay, now we will go through module number three, which it will speak about the ISO 27001 standard. What is the ISO 2001 standard? Or what is the ISO 27001? ISO 2001, as you remember from module number one, basics and uh, definitions, we define that the standard defines some requirements. Then the ISO, it will define some requirements for designing, implementing, operating, monitoring, continuous improvement for your ISMS. Then you have an organization, it has information, you have ISMS, which is a management system for managing your information and protect it, and you want to ensure that your system is properly managed and controlled to protect your data. Then you have to apply the ISO requirements to make sure that your system is designed properly and it's really protecting the data and provide the required controls for its protection. Then you will find that in ISO 27001, it has the requirements which are required for designing or establishing the implementing, operating, monitoring, and continuous movement for ISMS. In some books, you will find they call it ISO 27001, and in some others, you will find ISO slash IEC 2001. Why? Because uh, first it was uh, it's a joint venture, joint venture between I. It's all international organization for standardization and IEC, which is International Electrotechnical Commission. And we are working together to develop the ISO 27001. Uh, first version, it was announced in 2005, and the version it's announced finally in 2013. Because of that, you will find that the definition it, it will be like that 27001 colon 2013. This means that this is the new version the benefits of implementing ISO 27001 in your organization? What is, or what are the benefits which, uh, uh, or for implementing ISO 27001 in your organization? Of course, it will improve your organization information security. This is very important because you have a strong and rigid approach for protecting the data and the information based on the ISO standard. Also, it helped you for compliance. ISO 27001, if you implement ISO 27001 in your organization, it helped you to be compliant with GDPR, BCI, CSS star, and so on. Uh, question, what is CSS star? Do you have any idea what the CSS star uh, st uh, uh, standard? Okay. في حد موجود ولا كله نام خلاص؟ موجود. Are you thinking CSS star? What is CSS star? No. Adnan, CSS star. Do you know? I say Adnan. Uh, not really. First Bye. time I see this term. Okay, CSS star, gentlemen. It's Cloud Security Alliance. It's an organization called CSA Cloud Security Alliance. And they are providing uh, a certificate for cloud infrastructures. Then, if you are, if we have CSS star one, star two, star three. This is a certificate which is provided from Cloud Service uh, uh, Alliance. 
and it's uh, a proof that your uh, or the cloud service provider infrastructure is secure. Okay. The point number three to differentiate from competitors, and I think you you found this a lot in our life that uh, you will find in some advertising that we are ISO 9001 for quality or ISO 27001 for security and so on. Then we consider it as a point of strength or competitor, uh, competitive edge for the company uh, to be differentiated from the other competitors. Also to lower lowering the instant cost. This is very important. And from my point of view, this is the most important point here for uh, implementing ISO 27001 benefits. Instance, it can be, what is instant, gentlemen? Any, 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 uh, incident? Uh, incident means interruptions over here for the surface. Yes. Instant, it can something which it can affect your service. And instant, it costs company money. Why? Because if you have an instant, this means that it may affect your service or the service, it may not be available or whatever, it will affect your reputation. Then as soon as you can recover your organization from instance, this means that you are preserving your image and reputation in the market. Then in ISO 27001, it will consider about incident, about a process for managing incidents, monitoring incidents, and to make sure that everything is running fine without affecting the company reputation or services which are provide, provided to the customers. Okay. Finally, to have a better organization by defining goals and responsibilities. This is a very important point for ISO 27001. When we work in security, we have to define what are our goals in security and what are our responsibilities for security. What, what is expected from each user or from managers or from directors or from uh, senior management and so on. Then it's very important to to find these rules and responsibilities. The, the, the last point which I want to highlight now in this session, the second session, that when you are complying with ISO 27001, this does not mean that you are complying with all other regulations. You have to work very close with the other regulation to make sure that you are compliant with. For example, in Saudi Arabia, we have NCA. In Europe, you have GDPR. In US, we have USA. I mean, you have NEST. These are, uh, there are a, a direct relation between ISO 27001 and these uh, standards. Yeah, for example, NCA, it's built on ISO, uh, ISO 27001 and the NEST. But again, if you want to make sure that your organization is uh, complying with all the security control, uh, I mean security certificates or governance, which are in your country, you have to work close with these standards to make sure that they are uh, compliant with it. Okay, any question? Any question?